All right, welcome back to Dilly Squad Gaming, where we are in November of year one. Uh, we've got some sheep to feed, so let's go ahead and do that. We've got some. I don't. I don't know what keeps going on with my uh, bull stack, but ah, eh, whatever. It's fine. I think we'll be. Uh, I think we're gonna be selling that pretty soon. Uh, wool is best in, oh, April. Never mind. We've, we've got a ways to go. Uh, that's, that's okay though. Cause we've got uh, a whole pile of silage that we are going to be taking care of as well. But I believe that is in January. Yeah. January, December, January will probably be good enough. There's not really that much of a, uh, influx or deflux or whatever you want to call it uh, to really make the make a difference. So let's uh, let's drop a couple bales in here. I guess I guess that works. I was going to throw them. There we go. Because this is this is how you handle bales, right? You just pick them up and chuck them. Oh, sometimes you just chuck them. Oh, wow. wow. OK, uh, yeah, let's get this tractor away. That's gonna be a that's gonna be a nightmare trying to trying to feed these guys with that tractor in the way. Oops. Uh, that one. Oh, I knocked over the pile. And inadvertently, I think we fed them the rest of them. So these are all just the. Uh, the ones that will get sucked in in a couple hours, because these guys go through so much hay. I I, I want to say, oh, oh wow, I totally destroyed the pile. That's disappointing. Anyways, let's throw a couple more over there. I I bet you by the time we're done with today's episode, all this hay will be gone. Well, all have been sucked in, and they've they've eaten the uh. Out of house and home. Alright, so how many we have? We have 56 of them, so we've got a while before any of them get birth again, so yeah, we've we've got some time. Uh, did the rams grow up yet? The grant rams have grown up. No, that's the animal dealer, sorry, I was looking at the wrong. Uh, where are my little rams? Young ram, two months old. Yeah, they're all Five. I thought they should be six months old. Um, well. I don't see any, yeah. Hmm, alright, well. That's alright, uh, they'll be breeding soon. I believe they get to, uh... What year is it when they start breeding? Uh, rams do not reproduce. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, well, they do reproduce. They just don't bear offspring. So uh, anyways, let's uh, let's go down to the store because I'm I unfortunately have to uh, rent some more equipment. So the good news is we are going to be doing one more load of grass. We've got to get one more thing of silage done. That should get us into January by the time it is ready to be sold, which should be at its peak. So, but uh, I'm going to cut this and I will see you over at the uh, at the store. All right, so let's see what tractor we want. Now we use the uh, I believe it was a medium. Yeah, it was the MS MF 7S. Yeah. Uh, I kind of want to do something different this time. The Fent is 162,000. That is insane. The issue with this is now when I lease it, it's $8,000 versus the, what was it? 5,000, 7,000. This is a little bit more expensive. I wonder if we can get into the bigger small tractors. If that makes sense. Uh, so like the N-Series Veltra. 
That's 150. That's pretty good. What do we got to lease that? Not bad. 58. That's almost a $2,000 savings. Uh, and it has 145 horses, so that should be plenty enough. We've got the class. The class. Uh, this one's going to be a little bit more at 61, so about $1,000 less than our first tractor. Um, that one, that's pretty good there. That's not too bad. These are getting probably too small. That one I could do, the New Holland. But I'd have to go up to at least 155 horsepower. Yeah, so I, I'm going to try. Oops, too far. I think I'm going to try the Voltra. Uh, we don't need that. I don't know what the difference is. That one's 10 grand, so that's a big difference. All right, you know what? We'll just keep it. We'll keep the Versu. Is that where the seat flips over or something or spins around? I don't, I don't know. Anyways, <laughs> I'm getting uh. Ooh, that's a fancy roof. Sky view and standard. Okay, yeah, we're, we're going to go with standard. We don't need anything reverse driving. That's the flippable. Yeah, so you spin that thing around and you can... Yeah, no, we don't need that. I mean, that gives you two doors. But again, this all costs money. We don't have it. So can I change the color? Nope, that even costs money to do that. So we're taking everything standard. And uh, nameplate on this one, I don't really see a point of having a nameplate on a rented tractor. So we'll just we'll just go with this. Yeah, we'll we'll lease this. I've I've wasted enough time. So let's uh, let's lease this for fifty eight hundred. Uh, we can now go and get our mower. And the last time we used this butterfly, uh, we're making silage, are we not? I know this seems kind of silly. It's twice as much to rent it, but I believe... Oh, maybe this isn't the one. Maybe it is. Uh... But one of these you can build, yeah, I know this one you can do swaths, so you can actually have it make its own swath so that we don't then have to then swath it. So, um, but I'm not sure about these guys and I would hate to rent something this big because that is 10 meters wide versus our 8.3. And I mean, the, the price is three times as much. So is it really going to help? If, if maybe I bought this one and had this one, that would be a nice little setup. I really wish I knew if this one. Okay, that's, that's kind of weird. I wish I knew if this one did swathing or not. It, I'm not going to lie. It looks like it should. But then again, is this, this is a tow behind mower, right? Yeah. I, I don't know. Uh, we're, we'll just, we'll just go with the basic setup that we had. Um, everything else is, is, yeah. I don't, I don't really have any extra mods. Maybe, maybe next time I do this, I'll look at some mods. Oops. Grass care is obviously not important. Uh, let's, let's just go ahead and lease that one as well. Because daylight is burning now, so. Um, and it's not going to matter. Oops. That's not the tractor I want. I want our new tractor. Whoa, there it is. <laughs> Found it. All right, so it's a bit smaller, actually, than the last tractor that we uh, used. 
Oh, wow. Uh, my backing up skills are a little off today. Let's uh, zoom out. <laughs> there we go. All right, so this maybe it's a manual shift, so or a power shift, I think is what they call it. Uh, but we've got some decent speed with it, so that's a uh, that's a bonus. I think it can still only uh, mow at nine miles or nine or eleven miles, something like that, per hour. <clears throat> oh. All right, so let's. Oh, oh, whoa, no. All right, cool. <laughs> We've got a self-wrecking tractor. <laughs> oh, man, that is, uh, that's how you start an episode. Yeah, what am I, like, not even ten minutes in? All right, well, you know the name of the game from this point on. Uh, we're going to take care of both fields. And uh, I think I'm going to end up probably going to end up cutting most of this out uh, just because it's been you guys have seen this all before. Can I fit under there? Ooh, where? Yeah, no, not really. Hey, it's fine. It's rented. Nobody's going to care. Nobody's going to notice. How are they going to notice, right? Nobody's going to notice. Alright, so like I said, uh, I'm probably going to do... Wow. I am not good at driving today. I'm, uh, anyways, I'm going to, uh... Hold everything down. I'm gonna lower it. Hold and lower. Although this one's gotta... This one's gotta finish unloading first. Unfolding first. There we go, and... Yeah, we're going to get underway, and like I said, I'm probably going to end up cutting all this out because it's a, uh, it's something that we've all seen, and I don't want to, I don't want to do the same thing over and over and over again in every episode, so this episode might be much like the last episode where it is just all field work, but I definitely want to get, uh, I want to get this grass mode one last time before winter kicks in. Ooh, come on, power shift. Okay, it's it's a little bit slower going up hills. That's that's kind of sucks. But guess what? You guys don't have to watch it. So uh, I'm gonna throw this on the. I'm gonna time lapse everything from now on, and uh, we'll figure out what to do in editing. <laughs> but yeah, we'll we'll see you in a little bit.
All right, so now we're going to go to the second field and do that one. Except I'm going to bring back into the old, uh, the old, uh, style of doing the, the circle, circle, circle kind of thing. <clears throat> so I'm going to pick a random point in the middle, hopefully in the middle. See if I, uh, yeah, I think I can, I don't know exactly where that arrow is considered to be in the middle. Uh, definitely not in the middle. I'm going to, I'm just going to eyeball it. I'm going to say here. And yeah, let's get, uh, uh, that seems super close to this side. I'm going to, I'm going to go a little bit farther over. I wish there was a way I should, I should mark this once I figure it out. <laughs> Put a little gravel spot there or something. Uh, but let's just, let's, let's just, uh, let's just go right for it now. And, uh, yeah, this, this may cause some dizziness. I apologize. But I won't start the time lapse until we get a little bit farther on the rotation here. All right, now we can start to spiral it. And by spiraling it, we're going to have to start from this side. I'm trying to get an angle that doesn't cause. Uh, people to vomit. <laughs> I think that will do it. Let's, let's go ahead and put the cruise control on. <clears throat> and yeah, we're gonna line everything up and uh, start our time lapse again.
so that was uh that was actually pretty quick i'm not gonna lie uh the only downside is that this lawnmower or this lawnmower this tractor uh on a flat can do 14 miles an hour but up a hill it suffers like right now i have it pegged and i'm i'm lucky to do eight miles an hour uh so yeah little downside i think next time we will stick with the medium tractors uh we saved some money but uh yeah was it worth it who knows but uh let's get these folded up yep there we go and uh yeah everything is mowed we can go ahead and take this back to the store oh maybe i should get out of the hedge oh yep that's definitely one reason to be out of the hedge the uh oh uh maybe i shouldn't have brought you guys back in yet like this is uh this is world-class driving for me um I can't believe we don't own this chunk of land. Like, it really doesn't make sense to me. Do those open out or in? Oh, good. It just feels like this should be our property. And I'm not going to lie. I think this is going to be of the first set of property that we, uh, that we get. It's, it's $87,000, so 88,000. The only downside is, is, it's a long ways down that hill um but it will give us access to uh to water so not really sure why i'm going down here actually i'm kind of intrigued at what this is is this a uh does it tell me what it is no it doesn't hmm i have a feeling it's a water fill up point that's that's what I'm going to guess it is. Uh, but if it isn't. This is. Uh, this is actually pretty steep. Uh, it's not too bad there. And over here. Yeah, it's it's. It's amazingly how clear the water is underneath it until we go above it. But <laughs> it's uh, it's still pretty, pretty water. Um, it almost looks like it's fake. Oh wait, it is fake. Anyways, uh, let's head back up here. The only downside, I, I think if we ever, if we bought this property, if we ever used it, it would stay grass. It's, it's the only one that makes sense for grass. Um, maybe we can, uh change that one out down there to a crop and this one up here I want to use as horses because uh, yes I want to get horses sooner or later let's drop this off here we may have to uh, use the electric mower to um, to cut a little bit more grass probably cut our yard because we haven't done that all year that's that's pretty uh, that's pretty heinous looking, so let's head over to the uh, store and pick up the uh, windrower. Alright, so let's get this beast of a windrower unfolded. I'm, I'm probably going to have to readjust myself. And, uh, yep, yeah, yep. Yeah, yeah. Well, you know what? It's fine. It's fine. Yeah, I know. I know. Um, let's go ahead and turn her on. Lower it down. And uh, yeah, let's start uh, clearing this field. <clears throat> so I... Whoa. Why is my... Oh. Wait, what? Uh, time out. I... I think yeah I think this is uh yeah it totally is uh hold on one second guys I have to go get I have to go get a wheel weight um 
Yeah, I'll be right back. All right, I wanted to uh, I wanted to save some money, but I'm not gonna lie. It feels like the steering is off for some reason. I'm not, I'm not a hundred percent sure why. Uh, but let's see. Oops. There's that s gate that's hidden there. But uh, let's see if this helps. That's so weird because I did I not do the other field with this? I'm I'm ninety nine point nine percent sure I did. Did I get this? I don't remember. It's been uh, yeah, so it's been like four days between filming, <laughs> and I honestly don't remember. Okay, that feels better. So I think we're good now. If I could just keep it out of the hedge, we should be fine. All right, let's go ahead and do a time lapse and uh, I'll see you when we get done. Alright, so I'm kind of being a large child right now by <laughs> putting a couple swaths together to try to get a massive one so that when I go to bale this, it literally just spits one bale out uh, one after another. So 
Uh, yes, that's that's basically what I'm doing right now. I probably should have tried one or two more, but I'm just I'm gonna try this for now. We're gonna see how well this does. I think there's I think there's three in there, uh, but I could be wrong. So <laughs> I, uh, I I I took so many different paths that I completely forgot. But uh, let's go ahead and get. I believe this can go back now. Uh, so we can get rid of this and uh, we can bust out the baler and get the baler on. Uh, do I want to use this tractor for it? Uh, dilemmas, dilemmas, dilemmas. The baler I probably don't have to use this tractor on. Uh, but we will need. No, you. what, what am I talking about? I have to go rent one. That's what I have to do. Okay. <laughs> I don't know why I was thinking I was going to build or use my own baler. Uh, so let's go ahead and uh, take this back to the store. We'll go get the baler that we rented last time just because uh, that one worked pretty well. And the moral of this story is to... Yeah, don't buy a small tractor for this job because... Ooh, I should have I should have slowed down for that. I should have known better. Uh, but yeah, don't get a small tractor because yeah, you need the weight in the front. You need the weight of the bigger tractors and it's not all about power when it comes to tractors. So yeah, good. Good more of the story there, right? All right. So let's get this. Let's get this in and returned and we will come back. And, uh, yeah, start the bailing. And we are literally almost there, so. Oh, wait. Oh, forgot. Oh, okay. Well, you know what? That works. <laughs> I totally forgot that, uh, European map. Ah, uh, that's, that's, that's kind of funny. Uh, so let's drop that off there. That should be fine. We can uh, jump out of our tractor. Come over here. We can. Yeah, we can actually return this. Uh, we have 0.4 hours on it, so that should be good to go there. The small tractor, I believe we're at one hour, 1.1 hour. So yeah, let's uh, let's grab our baler. Hmm, where are you? I never, I never remember where everything is. Bail, bales, bail, bailers. There we go. Uh, so it was all the way down at the end. Now, ah, uh, I believe 120 to 150. These all do the same thing. I don't know why the pot integer is so much more expensive. Weird, it's $10,000 more. That one obviously only does small bales, so... And then these ones are out of the question. Um, Did we do a Massey? I'm pretty sure we did a Massey Ferguson last time. So let's do the... Let's do the fence. It's the exact same price, probably the exact same machine, just a different paint scheme. But anyways. Uh, so, ooh, we could use the end turner. Do I need it? No. But, uh, yeah, so that will actually turn the bale onto its side when it comes off, so that's, it's easily grabbable from a, uh, a loader, front loader, or whatever you happen to be using. And the, uh, the bales won't roll down hills, so that's probably the, the other big thing. Um, foil color... Oops. Uh, you know what? We're gonna go random, so we'll just we'll just let it do its random thing, and we will lease that for forty three thousand nine dollars. All right. So, hopefully, in the end, this should all pay off. And yeah, it should. <laughs> Let's hope it does. Nice little bump. 
to uh, get everything aligned. All right, now I want to be on the opposite side of the road. And you know what? I think with the time lapse we just did, I think we're going to be pushing our luck with time. So I think bailing and uh, obviously collecting the bales off the property, that's going to have to wait till the next episode. It is three o'clock in the afternoon, so we have just a couple hours of sunlight left. Hopefully we can get everything done. Now we don't have to get the bales off the field by today. We just have to get them wrapped so that they're ready to be sold in January when the price is at its highest. So, all right, let's uh, pull in here. Oh, oh, I, I swear the steering is off today for some reason. I don't know if maybe there, there was an update to Windows. I don't know why that would have changed the game. Maybe there was an update to the actual game and I just didn't know it because it's uh, purchased through Steam and Steam loves to just hook things up. <laughs> uh, but yeah, so I got a feeling maybe my control got changed. The sensitivity has increased more. Uh, but anyways, uh, thanks for watching today's episode and we will see you in the next episode. Bye for now.